Hi, and welcome to Politics Tech Lightning. Today we will be talking about content delivery networks, also known as CDNs. We will get an understanding of what a CDN is and the possibilities we have in the public cloud Azure. So let's start. What is a content delivery network CDN? We can explain this concept with an example, and Netwick is perfect for this. The technical explanation I will give here is correct on a high level. When you start digging deeper, you will find that Netflix, they have their own CDM implementation called Netflix Open Connect. Now, imagine that you're in the starting block of Netflix. You're starting your streaming services in the US West Coast, and you have a video server there, which is located in a DC in California. There are several internet service provider ISPs in and around the state. The users connect through their ISP to stream the videos. Now, there are quite some routers and hops in order to reach and get the video to their devices. As Netflix grows with the thousands of users, the amount of data retrieved from this server, it grows exponentially. Now, each ISP, they have to route their traffic through several hops for it to reach its destination. Now that's where a CDN comes in handy. Partner ISPs and other providers can install a CDN close to their end users. This CDN caches part of Netflix library. So when a user starts streaming a video, it gets the stream from a server close by. The CDN, it has built-in intelligence, so it doesn't cache all of Netflix library, but it sees which videos are being watched the most and prioritizes in caching them first. This has many benefits, such as you have lower latency as the server is closer to the end user, less traffic which has to traverse multiple network routes. In short, you can say that a content delivery network, CDN, it is a distributed network of servers that can efficiently deliver web content to users. CDNs, they store cached content on edge servers in point of presence pop locations that are close to the end users in order to minimize latency. Great, so now that we know what a CDN is, how does it work in Azure? Well, first of all, Microsoft, they have several point of presence pop locations, which can be used as caching locations. On this website here, we can see the regions, the provider, and where these locations are. In North America, there are quite a few. You have the Mexico, and you also have several in the United States. South America, you see there Argentina, Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru. And in Europe, you also find an extensive lift of countries, as you can see. So if CDN is important to you, I advise you to visit this list as it's continually updated by Microsoft. Link is, of course, in the video description. Now, there are two concepts for CDNs in Azure. We have the CDN profile and the CDN endpoint. A CDN profile, now this is just a container for one or more CDN endpoints. In the profile, you specify subscription, resource group for the CDN resources, the resource group region. CDN, it's a global service, but this is where you store metadata. Metadata is actually just information about the CDN. You put the name of the CDN profile. You have four options with regards to the pricing tier. You have the standard Microsoft, standard Verizon, standard Akamai, and you have premium Verizon. You can review the functionality of each of these ones on the site. As you can see, there are many, many options. Now, the premium Verizon has undoubtedly more features, but it's also more costly. The standard Microsoft, it provides the basics, which are actually all we needed for this exciting demo. We will have the option to immediately create the endpoint uh, from here on. The CDN endpoint name needs to be globally unique as it caches your resources on the URL that ends with the azureedge.net. The origin type, uh, as you can see, you can actually see with content to cache. You have the storage, storage static website, cloud service, a web app and custom origin. If you have a static website configured in Azure Storage account, you can easily select the Storage Static Website and then pick the Storage account, which is found under Origin Hostname. 
Now, that's where, what we will be using for this demo. We click on the Review and Create, then on to Create. While it's deploying, we will enable a static website on our storage account. So we open the storage account. Under Static Website, we see an option to enable it, which is what we will do. Let's take a note of the primary endpoint name. Now, this is the standard name without using any CDN, and it ends with web.core.microsoft.net. This uh, created also a storage container now, which is where we will store our web files. So we click on it and we upload our welcome file. Now we can go back and we need to ensure the name of the document that we uploaded is the same of the index document. So let's go to the primary endpoint and see if the website opens. As you see, it opens. Awesome. Now remember, this URL is without using any CDN caching. So we go back to the storage account, we go to Azure CDN. Here we can see the other host name we specified during the CDN creation. Let, let's access that name and see what happens. Exactly the same result using this URL. The interesting part is that if you use the Azure Edge.net address to access, you're actually using the Microsoft CDN network now. Now, in the top window, uh, we will start a trace route to the website without CDN. That's the web.corewindows.net address. The bottom window, now that will be the trace route using the CDN ad address of Azure Edge.net. So we start the trace route and we fast forward. The trace route result from the CDN, as you can see, shows far less hops compared to the other address. The interesting part is that you can connect to the tested tour URLs and you will see that the CDN will always give you lower latency, especially from the second test onward. I'm sure you agree with me now that CDNs are an exciting topic. CDNs, they make up an integral part of the internet as we know it today. They are there serving you low latency content automatically. Until next time, take care, see ya.